All morning, we're following the destructive path of Hurricane Laura. The storm is providing a wealth of information for the scientists known as storm chasers. The organization Hurricane Track set up a series of locked down cameras across Louisiana and Texas, documenting Laura as it made landfall and then moved inland. Storm chasers followed Laura's impact on cities across the Gulf Coast, including Lake Charles. Uh, Omar Villafranca is there right now. Omar, Omar, these folks put cameras in places you do not want to see. Now that the sun is up, what are, what are you seeing? Well, we're starting to see at least some of the debris that fell off, obviously, the buildings and that was blown around. There's water covering everything. Once it's safe, we're going to be able to go out and try to see what the storm did overnight in the cover of darkness. Now, when the storm was blowing in earlier and the winds were much higher, going out to get that video, in all honesty, it's too dangerous for the crew. David, Tracy, Rodney, all the, everybody who's here with me, we don't want to be out in that because you can really get hurt. But... There's other video that you're about to see that doesn't involve a person. It's just a box and a camera. And in that video, you can see the wrath of the storm as it came ashore and basically kept, this, kept us locked down for hours. From Lake Charles, Louisiana, to Port Arthur, Texas, and multiple other points in the Gulf Coast, storm chaser Mark Sadath has his eyes and ears on the path of Hurricane Laura's destruction. What we're seeing is that all the predictions are coming true of a very dangerous hurricane, especially happening at night. We've already seen damage in Lake Charles, lots of power outages, and very, very high wind. The camera is able to capture these. The storm surge completely submerged one camera as it was shooting along the coast in Cameron, Louisiana. The water hit the camera and we figured, oh wow, at that point the water had risen at least nine feet. Another camera in Lake Charles fell victim to the high winds. Well, we had mounted the camera actually on a palm tree, and I think that the roots just didn't go down far enough into the sand. We first spoke with Sadat before the storm made landfall. These cameras will show us the storm surge, show us the wind from a fixed location where somebody like you, we can't stand out there and do it ourselves. Even the most hardy storm chasers have their limits. These take the place of that to show us what's going on in real time. Oh my goodness, Look at Mark. That. Sadat's organization, Hurricane Track, has been recording and studying these massive storms for decades. You guys saw the roof come off the building. Including Katrina in 2005. Wilma that same year, and Ike in 2008. What do scientists learn sure. from this video? The video serves the purpose of showing us what's going on. We obviously want to see, but from a scientific perspective, how fast did the storm surge come up? What was some of the force of the storm surge? How fast was the wind blowing? Sadat says Hurricane Laura is already among the strongest he's seen. One of the most astounding things and surprising elements of Laura is the intensity. Laura strengthened like it did to almost Category 5 intensity. That's rare. Sadath also said he set up a camera in Shreveport, so he could, uh, which is farther north, so he could see the storm as it crisscrossed the state. Now, he learns a lot from watching the video as it's happening, but he says that once he downloads that video, there's so much more he can learn about the strength of the storms. But the big problem, Gail, is he has to go and find those. And after a storm like this and all the winds whipping around, he may lose a camera or two. Well, better a camera or two uh, as opposed to a life or a limb. Why does he say he does it, Omar? J just to educate the rest of us for the thrill of it? All of the above? He, he, uh, I mean, he, he does make a little money off it, but he's, he's just one of those weather geeks. I mean, <laughs> you look at the hashtag, whatever state, you know, hashtag LAWX, Louisiana weather, people are going to be looking at it. He's just one of those guys that wants to learn and share that information and Let's be honest, us as news organizations, we want to see it too. Yeah, That's we're fun. grateful. Yeah, I was going to say, Anthony, <laughs> we're very grateful, very appreciative, and he's giving us a lot of very Important. useful information that we could use and that the experts can use too to maybe be better prepared for the next time because there's always a next time when it comes to this situation. Mm -hmm. Omar, thank you very much. You stay safe too, Omar. We want you to be okay along with the rest of your crew. <laughs> we like you in this building. All right, thank you.